Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome back to school. I hope you are ready. Okay guys, now it's unit two. Listen to reading. It's about Chinese dragons. Okay. At first, let's take a look at our new vocabulary. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our new vocabulary. So, be ready for our first word. Beard. Beard. Guys, repeat after me. Beard. What is the meaning of the word beard? This is beard. This hair. Paul's beard. My dad has a brown beard. My dad has a brown beard. Word number two. Ball. Ball. This is a ball. It's looked like an ox. It's like an ox okay it is a big and angry ball it is a big and angry ball okay number three eagle eagle this is an eagle the eagle has landed the eagle has landed okay so, beard, ball, eagle. Emperor, emperor. This is an emperor. Emperor is like a king. The word emperor like a king. The Emperor Alexander was very brave. The Emperor Alexander was very brave. Emperor. I prows. I prows. These are I prows. She has thick and dark I prows. She has Thick and dark eyebrows. Face. Face. This is a face. He has a beautiful face. He has a beautiful face. What are these guys? It's a chair. King's chair. This is King's chair, which called throne. Its name is throne. Throne. The King's chair is throne. The King's Throne is made of gold. The king's throne is made of gold. What is this? What is color? It's a green, right? But what's its name? You don't know? 
This is a lizard. This is a lizard. Lizards have green skin. Lizards have green skin. Okay, so what is this? It's a lizard which have green skin. Okay. Oh my God, what is this? It looks so dangerous. A tiger and a bear, but they look so angry. Angry like fears. Fears. Fears equal angry, but so angry. The tiger, the tiger is very fierce. The tiger is very fierce. So, fears means to be angry so much, to be dangerous. Okay? Fears mean to be angry, dangerous. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, now what is this? Okay, of course, this is a cat. Right, a black cat. Right, guys, excellent. But I'm not asking about that. I'm asking about these. What are these, guys? These are whiskers. These are whiskers guys repeat after me whiskers okay these are whiskers who else have whiskers dragons dragons have whiskers like cats so who else have whiskers dragons dragons have whiskers like cats okay wise what is the meaning of wise someone who can think perfectly who can think in a good way who have a lot of information like scientists okay so wise equal to have a lot of information to be good so so good okay albert einstein this is albert einstein albert einstein was a very wise old man albert einstein was a very wise old man Okay, guys, now it's reading time, so please open your language book, page 18, for now, but after that we will open pages 19 and 20, and in practice book we will open page 10, so be ready and let's go to read our passage. Our passage is about Chinese dragons. Okay, so this is a quick look at our pages. But now we will read it so, concentrate with me and be ready to listen to me. Chinese dragons. Chinese dragons. First passage. 
Chinese people love dragons. They have many stories about them. In this story, the dragons came from the rivers. They brought water for plants, animals, and people. That's why Chinese people like them. In China, you can see them everywhere. On buildings, on bridges, on gates, on chairs, on vases, and on clothes. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, let's answer these two questions to see if you understood anything or not. The first one. Why do Chinese people like dragons? As I said, they have many stories about them. In the stories, the dragons came from the rivers. They brought water for plants, animals, and people. So that people like dragons. Because they brought water for plants, animals, and people. Okay, question number two. Where can you see dragons in China? Everywhere. I can see them everywhere. On buildings, on bridges, on gates, on chairs, on vases, and on clothes. Okay, guys. Let's go to the next passage. The king of the dragons was very strong. It looked like lots of different animals. It had a head like a camel and horns like a goat. What? How could that be happen? Like that, this head, it's head like a camel. Okay, guys, and he have horns. He has horns here. Like what? Like a goat. It had the small ears of a ball here, a small ears of a ball. Its neck and body were like a lizard's body. It had green fish scales from its head to its tail. It had the paws of a tiger and the sharp claws of an eagle. How? These are, these are the paws and the claws. What the meaning of paws of a tiger? Like the tiger's hand, okay? This word, this word, okay, paws, like the hands of a tiger. Hands of a tiger, okay? And claws means the nails. Nails of an eagle. Nails of an eagle, okay? Dragons were usually greenish. Greenish means to be green, okay? Another kind of dragon was green on its back, yellow at the sides and red underneath. Okay, not all of them were green. Another kind was green on its back, like here, okay? Yellow at the sides and red underneath, okay? Sometimes a dragon was blue all over. So guys, not all of them are green and not all of them are blue. There is another kind of dragon was green on its back, yellow at the sides and red underneath. Sometimes a dragon was blue all over. A dragon could be huge like an elephant or it could be small like a tiny lizard. What did the king of the dragons look like what did the king of the dragons look like we said it looked like what he had a head like a camel and horns like a goat it looked like lots of different animals he had a head like a camel and horns like a goat Question number four, are dragons huge or small? Are dragons huge or small, guys? We have said before that a dragon could be huge like an elephant or it could be small like a tiny lizard, okay? So, so small. They could be huge and small. 
Question number five. Were all the dragons green? No. No, not all of them. We said there was another kind which color was green on its back, yellow at the sides and red underneath. Like here, guys, okay? Let's continue. In Chinese pictures, some dragons have wings. Sometimes a dragon is thin like a snake. Here, this one has wings. And that one, what is thin like a snake. Okay, sometimes they are fat and they look like giant frogs with tails. Like that one. They can have long beards and pushy eyebrows. Here, look at here. You can see its pushy eyebrows and its long beard. Okay, they can look very fierce. Look at that one. It looks very fierce. Dragons can breathe fire, but they do not hurt people. Usually they help them and Chinese people think that their dragons are beautiful, friendly, and wise. Let's listen to this story. In one old Chinese story, a dragon with nine heads. Look at here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine heads. Help the king. Every night, the dragon and the king met at the top of a golden tower. This is the golden tower, okay? And this is the king, of course. The king told the dragon about the problems in his country. The dragon helped the king to think wisely. Here's, guys, wisely, okay? Wisely, like wise, like what, as we say it, to think in a good way, to be wise is equal to think perfectly, okay? The people were happy because they had a good king, okay? It's questions time. Can dragons fly? I said here they have wings, so yes, they can fly. What do Chinese people think about their dragons? They were beautiful, friendly, and wise. Number eight, what did the dragon do? Which dragon miss? Dragon with nine heads. The dragon with nine heads. The dragon held the king to think what? To think wisely. He held the king to solve his country's problems, okay? Number nine, why were the people happy? Why were the people happy, guys? Because they have a good king. Because they have a good king. Chinese emperors had dragons on their beds on their thrones and on their boats. Okay, guys, what's the meaning of emperors? Emperor mean king. Emperor means king, okay? So, Chinese emperors had dragons on their beds, on their thrones, and on their boats. When someone called the emperor dragon face, he was very happy. The Chinese princesses had dragons in their dresses. They told each other stories about helpful, friendly dragons. This dress, which dress? This dress. This dress belonged to a Chinese empress. Okay, guys. Who can tell me what is the meaning of empress? Okay. Who? Okay, guys, I will tell you. Empress is equal princess, but in China. Okay? 
empress in China means princess. The dragon has a big head with horns and whiskers. It has fish scales and spines on its thin body. It has five short legs and claws on each foot. Flames are coming from its body. There is yellow on this dress because it was for an empress. Only the emperor's family had yellow on their clothes. Question number 10. What name did the Chinese emperor like? Dragon face. Excellent guys. 11. What is the special color in China? Only the emperor's family had yellow on their clothes. So what is this special color? Yellow. Okay. Number 12. Did everyone have yellow on their clothes? No. Only the emperor's family, as we said here. Okay, guys, now please open your language book, page 20. Reading and understanding. Question number one, or exercise number one, circle the best word to complete each sentence. Number one, in Chinese stories, dragons brought rivers or water. Water. Chinese dragons brought water for plants, animals, and people. Dragons, number two, dragons can breathe water or fire. Fire, but they do not hurt people. Number three, sometimes dragons have long beards or eyelashes. Beards. Okay, guys. Excellent. Number four. Dragons usually help or hurt people. No. They do not hurt people. They help people. Number five. Chinese emperors had dragons on their thrones or faces. Thrones. Number six, the emperor's family could wear yellow clothes or beautiful clothes. Yellow clothes and only the emperor's family who could wear yellow. Exercise number two, read the questions, take through your answers. Which animals, which animals was the king dragon like? I will read all of them, then you will take it, okay? Cat, camel, lion, sheep, bull, crocodile, lizard. The first one is camel. Its head looked like a camel. Ball. It had the small ears of a ball. And it was green like a lizard. Okay. Number two. Which words described Chinese dragons? The first one is helpful. The first one is helpful. The second one is friendly. They were friendly, guys. Okay. Last one is wise. Because do you remember the dragon with nine heads who helped the king to think wisely and to solve his uh, country's problems? So they are helpful, friendly, and wise. Exercise or question number three. Which things did some dragons have okay i will read all of them again then you will 
say which things did some dragons have? Wings, spots, fingers, feet, horns, claws. Okay? Wings, right. Horns, excellent. Finally, claws. Okay? Question number four. Which of these animals were in the information about dragons? Frog, snake, goat, fish. Now guys, please open page 10 in practice book. Read pages 18 and 19 of the language book again. Choose the best word to complete each sentence. Chinese people love dinosaurs or dragons? Dragons, right. They think dragons are wise or wet. Wise. Right, guys. In Chinese pictures, some dragons, in Chinese pictures, some dragons have got long ears or beards. Beards, right. Some dragons breathe fire or smoke. Breathe fire, right, guys. Dragons are usually greenish or grayish. Greenish. Right, guys. Okay, you can complete this page at the homework. Okay, you can complete this page as a homework. And these are the answers.